You cannot block everything. We're getting through with all the death. Oh my lord, what, 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 what? What up, brothers and sisters, and welcome to MTG Malone with me, Match Malone. Thank you also very freaking much for tuning in. I hope you were there during yesterday's live stream. It was a short one, but today's live stream was longer, so I hope you enjoyed, enjoyed that one as well. And I want to say once more, thank you also very freaking much for all the support that I am living right now from all of you. It is just freaking amazing. We hit the 13,000 like two to three days ago, and we're already at 13,100 right now, even more, as the release of this video. There's always more than 100 people in my live streams, and I really, really am so happy. So from the bottom of my heart, I want to say uvu <laughs> to all of you. Thank you all so very freaking much. But enough with the hammering. Let's get into the fastest stack in the meta, hammering. Oh, baby. This deck is so fast, so furious. It is just amazing. So we have so many ways to just destroy our opponents utterly. Freaking utterly. First of all, we can have a turn for a gold span dragon. Even maybe a turn three gold span dragon. Which might be crazy, but achievable, you know? Because we have the Shambly Boy. If they for some reason attack us, we block with the Shambly Boy, make ourselves a treasure. Then we play the Kalein, get a second treasure. Now turn three, we play our third land. Gold Span Dragon has a 6-6 six, six on turn three. Mmm, let's go. What are they even supposed to do? And then from down on out, we have enough freaking mana for everything all freaking day long. That is all we want. So that is the dream. But it's only a small dream because there's other things we can do. Like for example, you know, play the Kumano, face the Kakasan into a Tenacious Underdog. Now we have a 4-3 on the battlefield, which is just amazing. We could also play the Kalein, have a 2-3 with the treasure and everything. And I mean, she's pretty darn good, so why the heck freaking not? And you know, then we play the Reckless Stormseeker, have a Hasty Boy on turn 3. We play the Thundering Raiju on turn 4. And just all of these now have counters. All of our creatures have counters, and this just, you know, pushes the Thundering Raiju into oblivion. Every time it attacks in, it will deal as much damage as there's counters on other creatures, and that can just go out of hand real freaking quick. Same as the Amazon Predator. You know, it just gets a counter every single time it attacks in, so that is pretty darn freaking good. And that is why we call it counter measures, by the way. Now there's some more things in here that just make this deck super amazing. Of course, as we're playing black, we can play Meadog Maskers, we can play Infernal Grass, Deadly Disputes on our Shambly Boys, and that also can help us to get a very, very early gold span dragon, you know? Shambly Boy gets sacrificed to the Deadly Dispute on turn 2. Now we have 3 mana the next turn, plus the 2 mana from the Shambly Boys and the Deadly Dispute. That makes 4. 5 mana. <laughs> 4 and 5, it's just, it's the same. Don't at me. And then we're on 5 mana on turn 3. With the gold spend, that is just pretty chef's kiss. Delicious. And you know, there we just slam in with all of our creatures. Get them down to 7 life. One of our creatures will be big enough. You know, will be a 7 toughness, whatever. To use it onto the mob Nixelai here. I even got the artwork. Just for all of you. Because I enjoy it and I think so would you. So we just bring down the mob Nixelai, you know. Give it 7 freaking loyalty. And then just minus seven them and deal them seven more damage. <laughs> that is just freaking brutal. Just insanely freaking brutal. For the last bit of damage, we also have the Hive of the Eye turns. We do have the Den of the Bark Bears. And what are they even supposed to do, you know, if you just slam in every single turn? And if you don't have the Obnix Lion, you just need like five more damage. You can still Kazul's Fury. Just slam it in there. Just show him who's boss. And the boss is him. Freaking Kazool. Yes, that's right, my friends. Kazool will be amazing. We will see if it works. But you know, Reckless Stormseeker into an Amazon Predator is also pretty darn tasty. Just so you know. There's a lot of tasty freaking things coming our way. Tenacious Underdog and Deadly Dispute will help us always drawing cards. Then we will always have cards. And that is also pretty darn amazing. I did a similar deck not too long ago. But I thought there were some things that just weren't right, you know? Like, for example, there was, like, no Kumano in here. There was an Eye Twitch in there, which I just don't think... I think that the Shambly Boy with the freaking treasure just fits it a little bit better. And the Kumano just works so well. Dealing that one damage can be a game changer. 
Putting a counter on a creature is so important for the Thundering Raiju. Having one more Thundering Raiju in here. Having no freaking, uh, what's his name? Uh, you know, the Valky. I had a Valky in here. But if you want to, like, go up Nixilai, if you want to go freaking Kazul's Fury, you know, maybe the Valky is just not the right choice. Because you just give him back the freaking creature. And that is why I said, you know what? Let's cut it. And Omnixilla is more than enough. We get the devils with the skirts. What else do you want? Also, these devils, you can always sacrifice them to your Amistone Predator. Deal one damage to your opponent's face. And all of that is just, oh, so darn delicious. Landwise, we have five beautiful freaking swamps, six beautiful freaking mountains, four Blightstep Pathway, and four Haunted Ridge. And, you know, the two Dan of the Bugbear and the two Hive the Eye Tarnt. Just remember, when you attack in with the Hive the Eye and the Thundering Raiju, put it on the Hive the Eye Tarnt. Now it will be bigger. If they don't have a way to remove a land, well, they will be pretty screwed. That is just what it freaking is. And this is Manus, so yeah. It's the right choice, is all I'm freaking saying. So thank you all so very freaking much once more. I'm really, really happy about how things are going. And I want to once more dedicate this video to all of you. Every single freaking one. I will be here until Saturday with the live streams. Then I will, as per usual, take a day off. And next week... Next week, we will have something big coming. Maybe I will have to skip one video, one video that week, because I really have something very, very big planned. But it takes a little time in the planning, and it will be freaking amazing. So I hope that you will all be there. What day will it be? I don't know yet. We will have to find out. Maybe, maybe... It will be just in the middle of the freaking week and it's going to be glorious. Glorious, I tell you. So thank you all so very freaking much. I almost choked on my spit here. <laughs> I was so excited. I almost choked on my spit. So yeah, also, 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 the video will be like starting before I live stream. Then I live streamed and then the rest of the video will be after the live stream. So don't get confused about my rankings. That is the reason why. No other reason. So thank you all so very freaking much. I'm Mats Malone, and I will see you in those countermeasure games. Are you ready for some regression? We're up against Crotosaur. That kind of sounds nasty. I don't know why, man. I just don't know why. All right, I like this hand, though. I really do. Because we can go with the Haunted Ridge here into nothing. Into Kumano. Into uh, Reckless Stormseeker. I think that that is fine. I think it is. And, uh, you know, going first is also very fine. And I will keep the Kazul's Fury for as long as I can. I hope I won't regret it. But we will see. Maybe I'll even draw another land. And then uh, we will be geared, you know? We will be freaking darn geared. So I have not been playing Magic yesterday at all. Only with the one Jame. And it felt great. I went into town. I bought myself some shoes. And uh, luckily... Luckily, I had some videos in the pipeline. So yesterday's video actually is not from yesterday. <gasps> you getting behind the scenes sneak peeks? Who knows? You might. You might. All right, Crotosaur. Still, I, I think it sounds nasty, man. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is, but it kind of sounds nasty. What is this? Oh my, okay. Well, we will find out all together what it is now, won't we? I think that my creatures will just be a little bit bigger than yours. Slightly. A slightly a little bit bigger. Alrighty. Let's hope they don't have a freaking uh, counter spell here ready to rock and roll. That would be saddening. They do, don't they? They do. Okay. Well, I mean, a eh, Kind of have to do things anyway sometimes. The make disappear even. It wasn't even like the thing that I was suspecting it to be. But hey, eh, you know. We did our darndest. We tried to build it down. I thought that they were the, um, you know, the uh, refined deck. And now they're a, a counter spell deck. That was a little unexpected. But if you have seen my video from three days ago, was it three days? I think it was. You know how good this kind of deck is. You just know how good it is. The Kaito. All right, we we're getting rid of this ninja right away if we have to. Right Don't get value out of it. I think we have to. I think we have to. Just get freaking rid of it. Right freaking away. Yes, my friends. Yes, we do. We're going full on aggro here. Just dumping our hand. Just no regrets, man. No regrets. Just dumping our freaking hand. What are you even supposed to do? Bring down a refine here? You go ahead, my friend. You bring down a refine. 
could also have a white source into Wandering Emperor. There's always a chance of that happening. Yes, okay, they do. They do. We might also have a Meadow Masker here. We will see what they're doing. The Sauron Murphalers. Okay. Interesting. Here comes the Vampire. Alright. You fight for Still have to me. discard here though. Thanks. They're going full oh, on Planeswalks. Also it's surprising that we have like 6 lands and 10 cards. Even though we're only 23 lands. Yes one of them was a Kazul's Cliff. And I will be very very sad if I draw a land here now. Well that is kind of okay. Kind of. Kind of okay. Alright. And we're attacking the um, Sauron here. Our block him. Good, good, I like it. I don't know why they got rid of a Doom Scar, I bet because they have another Doom Scar. Chances are high that they do Scar, you know? Alrighty, but we will see here. We will just have to see. They're not taking the card. That is interesting. Well, they're taking the card. They're taking the card. But they're not wasting the mana. Alright. Do you have a Wandering Emperor now? Do you hear of it? Or do you just have a hero's downfall? Okay. Interesting. Pretty darn interesting. Well, the thing is, we're getting rid of the sword here anyways. Good. Good, I like it. Really good. And, um... Uh, now we're bringing down the Obnixilis. Yes. In a cool art style that I just bought myself. Look at it! It's mob freaking Nixilis, my friends. Mob freaking Nixilis. So now we all we have to do is to find ourselves some things, you know? And uh, I'm not even making myself a devil here. Because there's literally no need to. Literally not so ever. I do have the uh, Hive of the Eye Tyrant here to be aggressive. So yeah, we will have to see what they're doing here. They're losing the life. That is absolutely fine by me, you know? Absolutely fine. I do not mind that at all. Go ahead and lose the life. They're making a ninja here, alright. I wonder why. I've got all kinds of connections. Two, four, five. They cannot use their thing here. That is already pretty darn nice. Let's make them lose some more life here. I mean, give me one darn good reason why I shouldn't. One <laughs> darn good reason why I shouldn't. Pleasure doing business. Still losing a lot of life here, man. Still losing a lot of freaking life. Am I doing this right away? Yes. Because even if to get rid of my Hive of the Eye Tyrant here, we still have... Oh my, okay, well, it was one of your cards. Might still have the Wandering Emperor, though. Might still have it. If they do, they're still losing their little ninja here. They don't have anything. They just don't have anything. Alright, well, in that case... Let's go here and here. And get rid of the Kaito. Goodbye, Kaito. Goodbye. All right, they're not even blocking oh, here. That is so fun by me. Next so next turn, I might make myself a little 1-1. One -one. I might. We will see. I don't know what their plan is here, but it sure ain't a good plan. Sure ain't a good plan if they're losing, you know? Oh, they have a third Kaito. <laughs> okay, that is the third one, you know? And the third Kaito. Just normal. Just There's normal. No, no worries there. Neon so ever. Okay. So, they cannot have a Wandering Emperor here. And we're attacking in. They have to discard now. One bajillion percent or they're dead, you know? But they just freaking die here. They just freaking die and here. And we do have enough things to do, you know, to be happy about it. <laughs> Pleasure doing... Alright, they're keeping one card in hand. Just keeping one card in hand. Whatever that means. I don't know, man. I don't know. But they kept one card in hand. So we will do it before we attack in. And then we're attacking in. And then we will see what they freaking do here. Oh no, the horror. The horror. Did you just tap out, my friend? Oh, they did tap out. They did tap out. That is doom, my you friend. You just you just brought doom onto time. yourself. I'll that was you down. That was it, man. That was it. Beating one of the best decks in the meta? Yes, we did. Yes, we did. We did beat one of the best decks in the meta. Let's also do this now, just to show them how powerful we are in this group! Mmm! Mmm! Get out of here, freaking triple Kaito! Nothing can stop me! I am 
the adversary. Your pain is my entertainment. <clears throat> Better wish that one of those Kaitos would have been Wandering Emperor. Judd Haven. Judd De Haven? Jude De Haven? I don't know, man. Poland's going first. Man, if only we had a black source. This would be delicious. Or like this, it's not. Alright, we're getting rid of the meat hook here. Hello, hello! Oh no, it's mono white right away. Mono white right away, I don't like that one bit. Not in the slightest. Nuh uh. Nuh uh. The Talia. Alright, that is super annoying, man. Now I really wish I still had my meat hook masker. I really wish I did. But I don't. I don't. Alright, yeah. Tax man is in the house, man. The tax man is in the freaking house. Why did I get rid of my Meat Hook Masker here? Why did I do it? Well, it wouldn't even matter too much because it would have been Gonzo already, you know? This would have been Gonzo. All right. Well, I mean, that is all just amazing. Just freaking amazing. We're still bringing down the Reckless Storm Seeker here. And uh, we're not attacking him, though. Yes, we're using a Reckless Storm Seeker as a blocker. I mean, they know about our... Yep, okay. All right. They know about that as well. Yeah, I don't have a good feeling about this one. If we don't find a Meat Hook Mask here very freaking soon, I have a very, very darn bad feeling about this one. Um... Kinda have to do this right away, not to lose even more life, you know? Because we would lose five life here. Five freaking... Oh, we're still losing five life. So, yeah, good game. I mean, Mono White going first, doing Mono White things. Can be as aggressive, as controlly as you want. There's nothing you can do. Even if we would have gone here and kept the Meat Hook Massacre, turn two Talia, turn three, we couldn't have played the Meat Hook Massacre because it would have cost one more. They would have played the Elite Spellbinder, taken the Meat Hook Massacre, now would have cost them five, only to play it for zero. Still certain freaking death. Nothing we could have done. Just nothing. Get out of here, Mono White. Mmm! I just had an opponent mulligan down to five and then scoop. <laughs> that was weird, man. <laughs> they mold, mold, scoop. Alright, I do like this hand. We can have a very early freaking gold span dragon. It's Boros. Okay, well, we will see how we do against Boros here. We'll see how we do against Boros. Hello, yeah. Say hello as much as you want. You freaking bore me. You freaking Boros me, man. That is what you do. Just freaking Boros boring game, man. It's just amazing. Oh my lord, they're doing nothing. They're doing nothing. I like that. I really do. Here comes the Kumano. Okay. The king of Kumano is here. And we will see what they're doing. Playing with fire. Well, that's amazing. That is just plain amazing. So I will be making myself a treasure, of course. And next turn I will have a gold span dragon right away. And that is pretty darn good. Like what are you even supposed to do against a gold span dragon? I tell you. Nothing I tell you. Okay. Here it comes. The gold span freaking dragon. Mm -mm. Turn three, baby. Turn three gold span dragon. Right into your face. Okay. And if they do have like the, uh, you know, the thing that, uh, that excels. Yeah, the brutal cathar. Good. Go ahead, my friend. Go freaking ahead. I don't mind. I would just get it right away. Wait. Cancel. Doing this for a two black. And getting myself a blocker even. Resolve. Before it goes to attacks. I can do it. Yes. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Alrighty. Hey. It was your choice, my friend, playing Boros here. It was your darn choice. No blocks, though. No freaking blocks. What, am I crazy? I'm not crazy. Like, they could just still shoot it, you know? They could just... Yeah, there you go. <laughs> exactly what I thought, man. Exactly what I freaking thought. Alrighty. So we're still being the aggressors here. Like, you know, we can still just get in there for a lot of freaking damage. And that is pretty darn good. Okay. And now we're still bringing down the Tenacious Underdog. I mean, you see, these two together, what a team, man. What a freaking team. So what you gonna do now, my friend? Seba Powad 9. 
What you gonna do now? Oh no, the horror. Oh no, the horror. Oh no, another one? Well, that, that's okay. I'm still getting rid of this, you know? Still freaking getting rid of this. And, uh, oh my. Hmm. I mean, hey, you know, this is still pretty darn good, isn't it? Yes, it is. Oh, yes, it is. We're bringing down the etching. Shooting them one more here. Bringing down the Omnixili. Yes, yes, my friend. Yes, that is exactly I what it is. And they scoop! Mm. <laughs> Get one. out of here, <laughs> Boros! You think you can't come into my house? Just unlock the door from the window? Not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. Whatever that man, it doesn't even matter. Because I am... The cream of the crop. Did we just beat the Boros deck going first? I think we did. The Anyman can. The Anyman can. Alrighty. Kinda like this hand. I really, really do. Because the thing is that I will be playing my Shambly Boy here. Block with it. Get my Amazon Predator down real freaking quick. Yes, sir. It's another Boros, ain't it? <laughs> it, is, it is just another Boros, ain't it? I think it is. I think it is. Shoot it. Go ahead. Shoot it. Shoot it. I want you to. Who's? Oh, it's Mono White. Okay, interesting. Pretty darn interesting. Well, in that case, you know, it doesn't change too much here. It might also be Mono White Control, you know? The way this looks, it might very well be Mono White freaking Control. But I'm still getting myself an Amazon Predator real freaking quick. That is all that matters. Okay. Mama, hold me, I'm a little bit scared because I have no clue what we're facing here. No clue whatsoever. Candy Man can. The Candy Man am. Not doing anything? I like that a lot. I really do. I really, really like that a lot. Okay. What you doing though, my friend? If you're doing nothing, that is absolutely fun by me. You know that? You know that, right? Shoot it. Shoot it. What? <laughs> that was a little bit unexpected. Just a little bit, though. <laughs> What was that, man? What the heck was that? Well, it doesn't really matter. We're getting our Amazon Predator down here. And that is already pretty darn good. So we will see what they're even doing, you know? Good game. Good game. Will this be another turn two win just because our opponent didn't do anything all game long? I don't know. We'll have to find out. The wedding announcement, eh? Yeah, that is still all right with me. That is absolutely all right with me. And a scoop. Okay. Well, any man couldn't. I think the Andy man couldn't, man. You don't see me. Alrighty, I'm back from streaming. I had to take a break for streaming reasons, and uh, now I'm back here. So, we will see how this turns out. The opponent's going first. I do not like that too much, but I do like our hand here, to be honest. Like, I can go Kumano into Shambly Boy, into let us see what we can do. Please don't be freaking... Oh, they are. They are. I was just about to say, don't be Boros. Don't be freaking Boros, but you are. You just are. Well, I mean, we do have the Infernal Grass, we do have the Meat of Massacre, we do have some things to do, you know. It's not like we're out of there immediately. And we will see what they're doing. Bring down Illuminar Aspirant. I do not like that one bit. Not in the slightest. But well, we can take care of that, so hey, that is already pretty darn good. Uh, going with the Shambly Boy, though? Question mark? No, we're not going with the Shambly Boy. We're not going with the freaking Shambly Boy. We'll see what they're playing here. And then we will just be going with the uh, Infernal Grasp. That is what we're doing. The Bloodthirsty Adversary. Well, that is pretty darn good, isn't it? That is pretty darn good. Because, you know, our Meat of Mask likes that. It really does freaking like it. Okay. The open initiate, though, do not like that too much. Not in the slightest. Not in the freaking slightest. Alright, we're doing this though now. And we can now block this hopeful initiate. And we will. We freaking will. Yes, we will. 
depending what they do here, but the Meadow Masker is just darn delicious here. Just darn freaking delicious. Now, the play with fire is pretty darn annoying though. Pretty darn annoying. We still have to block here, don't we? Even though that won't be too good for us, but we still have to. We still freaking have to. Okay. Well, here goes nothing, my friends. Here goes nothing. I mean, they're down to one card in their hand. We do have the Thundering Raiju. We do have the Reckless Storm Seeker. So we might have a chance. Who knows? Oh, come on. We never have a chance. We never stood a chance here, man. Never. The play with fire now. Holy smokes. No. Just no. Hello. Yeah, the dog is under there, buddy. <laughs> He's not even reacting. Though we had no chance to begin with. None so ever. Zero. Well, that is still no chance for us. Still no freaking chance because they have exact freaking lethal here. Exact lethal. So yeah, it was nice, but this bloodthirsty adversary here got us real freaking good. Just got us real freaking good. It was no good to get out of Boros. Get out of here, Boros. Get out of here. Stupid Boros going first, man. And they had it all, you know? They didn't miss a beat. That was just freaking brutal. Opponent's going first once more here. It will be Boros, I can tell you right away. Well, at least we do have stuff to do here. Very late in the game, but we do have stuff to do. Told you. Told you. It will be Boros going first once more here. Just right away. Oh my lord, Meta, please stop it. Please stop it. I cannot take it anymore. I just can't. It's incredible, man. Look at this. Look at it, man. It's just wowzers. Just wowzers. So, next card they play is the, um, the thing, the uh, Brutal Cathar. Just right away. Oh, it's another hopeful initiate. Well, that ain't no Brutal Cathar, though. That ain't no Brutal Cathar, though. Okay. I like it. Kinda do. Kinda do like it. We go with the Obnixilis here, so that we can block this Bloodthirsty Adversary and bring some pain <laughs> down on the Bloodthirsty Adversary. Okay. Shake down oh my lords. lord. After a long day of everything, this just is painful, man. Come on. Oh, of course. <laughs> no one beats me and survives. <laughs> of course, man. Why not? Why the freaking heck not? So, hopefully we do find something to work with here. That would be darn amazing. Like a land would be perfect. Okay, no land. No land has been found, but we do have the Amazon Predator here. So that will come in as a 4-4. That is already pretty darn good. Now watch him have something amazing here. Just to make it don't have anything. You don't have anything. What is this shenaniganery? Are you kidding me? You don't have anything? Wow, okay. Now that's that's a new one. That is, That one is new to me. That one is pretty darn new to me. Okay. Well, I kind of have to take the hit here, though. Are you freaking kidding me? What? Please give me a Meadok Masker here. Please, just a Meadok freaking Masker. Please, no. No Meadok Masker. Oh, my lord. They have six mana. Okay. So we can block here now, pretty efficiently even at that. And we will see what they're doing here though. Just have to see what they're freaking doing. I can still find a Meadog Masker, you know. But they're on seven now, seven freaking mana. That ain't good at all. I have to do something. I have to freaking do something here. Okay, that is indeed something. That is indeed freaking something. All right. Well, maybe we do have a chance here. Maybe we do have a small and significant freaking chance here. The smallest of all chances. Cannot even play the Tenacious Underdog here. I'm pretty darn certain. They don't? Okay. More land? Come on, game. Come on, game. Don't you do this to me. Don't you freaking do this to me. That is pretty darn brutal. Okay, so we're putting it on Kalein here. He still could have it, you know. Still could. I don't know, man. 
Looks bad for us right now. Looks pretty darn bad for us. All right. That is... Nothing is happening. I like that. I really do. Another kill lane. But sooner or later, they will have to do something, you know? They will have to do freaking something. Valor stance needs to go. Are we super lucky here? Is that what's going on right now? Are we just being super freaking lucky here? Well, there is a chance that we are, you know? We're down to four. Ending the turn. Could still just find their uh, ruinous whatever thing, you know? The Luminarch Aspirant. That ain't it, though. Just ain't it. What is your last card, man? Oh, brutal. Freaking brutal. Okay. But uh, yeah, that ain't brutal enough, man. Just ain't freaking brutal enough. Why didn't they do it? I'm confused. I'm utterly confused. Where are you putting this, though? There? No, you aren't. No, you aren't putting it there. Oh, my lord. I cannot freaking believe it. I can not freaking believe it. Did we just win here? It cannot block everything. We're getting through with all the death. Oh, my lord. What? 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 How could they be so unlucky, man? How? Like, there was this one card, they could have even paid it, man. All the lands, they had it all, all the lands. I cannot believe we won this after Boros beat us in the game before. I cannot believe it. Get out of here, Boros. You ruined magic for me. <laughs> Get out of here, Boros, really. Get out of here. All right, we have time for at least one more game here. We're up against HNZW. And we're climbing our way back, man. We're climbing our way back. Opponent's going first once more here. That ain't no good. You can act like you're not Boros all day long. We all know you are. You can try and hide it, but we all know you are. Oh, you're not. Okay, well, you're not. <laughs> that was surprising. That was pretty darn surprising. Okay. So we go with the Black Swords here, bring down the Tenage Underdog, and say hello to them. Do you have a counter spell for that? Do you now? They do have a counter spell for that. I hope that you're missing land drops, my friend. I really hope you do. Well, you don't. Okay. The Fable of the Mirror Breaker even here. That is pretty darn good, isn't it? But our Reckless Storm Seeker would like to have a word with you here. Okay. Good. Good. We're still getting in there, you know? We're still doing things. And that is alright. I like doing things. Discarding a land. Alright. Peculiar. Pretty peculiar. But well, we will see what they have here. They could have a lot of things, you know? Just a lot of freaking things. The Dragon's Fire. Well, that is one of those things they could have here. Uh, but uh, we're okay. We're just getting in there with the Thundering Raiju. So they're a multiply your gold span dragons into freaking infinity kind of deck. Yes, they are. Here comes another freaking gold span dragon right away. Right away. Oh, that's no gold span dragon. That ain't no gold span dragon, my friends. But uh, one of the best cards still they ever printed. Uh, yes, yes. Okay, very beautiful island. I have to say, it is a very beautiful island. Maybe we get a mana for a gold span dragon ourselves here. That would be pretty darn cool. Well, we don't. We freaking don't. Well, let's attack in first. We don't have anything. I like that. I really do. Okay. All right. I will just be ending the turn here and see what they're doing. Like, if they do have a gold span dragon, we do have an answer here. With the infernal freaking grasp. They do freaking have it. Impressive. Pretty darn impressive. Do you have a counter spell though that you can use? Do you have it? Do you freaking have it? It doesn't look like you do, my friend. Does not look like you do. And now there's nothing you can copy. Nothing, I tell you. 
Another express of iteration, all right. So the question is, do we get it with the Obnixilus here? Do we now? What is this roadside relic thing? Okay, wow. I've never seen that in my entire life. Alrighty. Okay, looks pretty darn tasty here, my friend. Looks pretty darn freaking tasty here. Oh, I like it. I like it a lot. Yes, you have to block here. You really have to. Oh, oh, will we get him next turn with the Omnixili? Will we now? There is a chance we will. There is a freaking chance that we will. Like, if they don't do anything here, you know, if they just slam down a gold span dragon into double gold span dragon, what then? What freaking then? Yeah, you can draw here. Go ahead. Go ahead. I still get ya. You have to get rid of my thundering Raiju. If you cannot get rid of my thundering freaking Raiju, the game is just over. Over, I tell you. Well, at least that's what I hope. At least it's what I hope. <laughs> you could still have a board wipe here, you know? Could still freaking have a freaking board wipe. And that would be pretty terrifying. Because we're one away from surviving that board wipe. Maybe I should have put the counter on the thundering Raiju. Oh, they just scoop! Who is the number 320 in the world rankings now? Not me! But we're very darn close. 602. That is like... Only double. Only double, my friends. Mmm. Alrighty. The last game is here. Not so good. Well, we will see about that. Don't, don't sell yourself short. <gasps> we're going first. What is this, Krimis? Alright, as long as you find some land we're kinda good. Or whatever, you know. Let's just act like we're Boros, which we aren't. Which we totally aren't. This underdog is pretty darn delicious here, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yes, it freaking is. Okay, I like this. I really do. It's a 4-3 now. Oh, they will be coming down with a... Um... Oh my, I, I for some reason thought that this was like a... Um... You know, a sp not spara like um, refined tower. That is what I thought it was, but it isn't. It freaking isn't. Okay. What you got here for me, my friend? What have you got here for me, my friend? I'm getting in for six. That is already pretty darn good. Oh my! Oh no! Oh, but well, I'm getting in for four. That is already pretty darn good. And if I can find one more land here, that would also be pretty tasty. And we will see what they have. Like right now, all we need is one land to be happy. One singular land. We will see if we can find it. Well, there it is, but it's not the land that I was looking for, is it now? No, it ain't. <laughs> no, it ain't. But we're still getting in it for four, you know? And next turn, we're getting in it for eight and even more. So that is also pretty darn good. So they have the uh, Xander... Oh, the Prismari Command. Okay. The Reanimator deck. Well, we do have the Infernal Grass, so I don't really care about that too much now, do I? Let us see what you're reanimating here. Those aren't reanimation spells. Those aren't. Not at all. Meat of Massacre? Is there a Meat of Massacre coming in? A Battle of Frost and Fire. Well, that's still alright. We do have the Gold Span Dragon here and the Coloring Raju. All we need is to find one more land, and we're super happy. Oh my lord, we did. We did find one more land. Oh, not so good. This really doesn't look too good for you now, does it? Oh no, it doesn't. So next turn, we have a gold span dragon. We do have the thundering Raiju. I have a very, very good feeling about this. A very good feeling. Like, we're just being so aggressive. No freaking hand can ever stop us. Oh, this isn't looking like something that could stop us. It really, really doesn't. And they scoop! Oh, baby! Mmm, 509! Where we freaking belong! Where I wanna be, baby! Top of the world! The crop of the cream! Boros got us, but we got Boros. That is all that matters. These games were just crazy. This deck deals so much freaking damage, it just goes into hyperdrive. Freaking hyperdrive! Is there even such a thing? If there is, now there is! And it's this freaking deck. So I liked it very, very freaking much, and I hope so did you, because I really think that this is the kind of deck that can get you very freaking far. I mean, we started, you know, somewhere in the 800s or in the 1000s, we ended in the top 500. I mean, what else do you want? Tell me! 
I played 8 games in freaking 30 minutes, 8 games, that is right, I mean I lost to Mono White, I lost to freaking Boros, but hey, everybody does, everybody poops, that is just what is up, that Mono White game was freaking crazy, if we would have gone first, maybe, maybe we would have had a chance, but even then, it would have been pretty darn tough for us, pretty darn tough, because we would have had to have the Meat of Massacre ready to rock and roll, and you know, they had the freaking, uh, you know, two power creature that taxes you, that the flyer in the air that taxes you, I don't know names, I don't care, you don't see me, I am the crop of the cream, you know, everything that can go wrong, everything that you can say wrong, I do it, but louder than anybody else. And that is why we're here every single day, to be the loudest freaking YouTube channel there ever freaking was. <laughs> I'm coming for you, Siren.TV. I'm coming for you. So thank you all so very freaking much. Everybody that's here on this beautiful list helps me out so freaking much. And if you want to help me out as well, consider becoming a patron. Consider becoming a member. But if you don't have any hard on cash to share, please, always think about yourself first. It is way more important to me that you feed yourself than that you feed me. I can take care of myself and so should you. I'm Max Malone and I will see you all tomorrow.